Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy, and I'm here to do your reading for Tarot Tuesday. This is for Tuesday, April 16th, and this is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me for that. I'll leave all of my information down below. So today we're doing a pick a card reading, and how this works is you're going to take a moment and center your energy take a deep breath and you're going to choose either card number one number two or number three and that'll be your reading for the week and today i'm using the wild unknown tarot deck by kim kranz and i just want to say thank you so much to all of you for watching and liking and sharing and commenting i really appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. Um, if you'd like to take a minute to pause this video, you can do that as well. So if you've chosen your card, we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so if you chose card number one. Alright. You have the Hierophant in reverse. So I'm just going to turn this around so you can see it for card number one. So with the Hierophant in reverse, um, this typically is a some type of separation, or this can also be a divorce that you're dealing with. Um, it is a breakup of something that's very traditional, okay? So if you're not going through a divorce, um, maybe somebody around you is or a separation. This can also be a legal matter of some kind. Um, for some of you, if that's not the case, there's a group of you who I feel are doing things in a very untraditional way. Okay. So you might be getting some, um, difficult people around you who are complaining about how you're doing things, how you're living your life, the choices that you're making, that you're not doing things um, traditionally, or you're not doing things the way your family did them or your friends are expecting you to do them. And that's okay. Um, I feel like in that case, you are kind of carving your own path through life. So you're being very unconventional. You're being very creative. And I think, um, sometimes that scares people, but I think it's a good thing to, um, not always follow what the rest of society is doing. Okay. So a couple different scenarios for that first card. Okay. So if you chose card number two, <clears throat> you have eight of pentacles in reverse. All right. So I'm going to turn this around for you so you can see it. We have the spider there in the web with all these pentacles around it. <clears throat> with the eight of pentacles in reverse, um, this is often the card of being a perfectionist. So if there's something you're working on, this could be your personal life or a project or your job. I feel like you are paying too much attention to the small details. Okay. Some of these details are not important, um, but you're paying a great deal of attention to them to make sure that they're perfect. Okay. I feel like you're losing sight of the big picture. You're also taking the enjoyment out of it, um, making it feel a lot more like work and a lot more like a chore. Um, and putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Okay. For some of you, this pressure might have come from other people, your parents or, you know, people around you that expect things of you. But for the most part, I think you put that pressure on yourself. 
Um, and the message here is that perfection is a myth. There's no such thing as a perfect person or a perfect thing. Um, so try not to try not to um, stress yourself when things don't fall perfectly the way you plan them. Um, I think you need to let go of some of that control and let things just kind of flow. The spider, you know, that spins the web, it's, it's beautiful. It's a work of art, but it's not perfect. Um, so let, let yourself enjoy the process a little more and be a little more creative with it. Okay. So that's card number two. And last but not least, we have card number three. All right, so if you chose card number three, you have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so this is my sneaky fox card. You can see the fox there. And he's lying on this last sword here, but he's got one eye open. You can see he's kind of peeking out at you. The Seven of Swords is all about deception. Okay, there's somebody that is deceiving you, lying to you, or maybe they are telling you most of the truth, but leaving out very important details. Um, they might think that they are getting away with it. They might think they're being honest because they are telling you most of the truth. Um, but they're really being very sneaky about it. Very deceptive. Okay. This can be you. This can be your energy. This can be um, someone around you. For some of you, there's this is telling you that you need to be um, aware <clears throat> that someone is maybe trying to get away with something. And I feel like you have a sense about this if even if you don't have any proof i feel like you sense it okay so this is telling you that trust your intuition and if it feels like someone is is lying to you or not telling you the whole story um then you might want to look into things a little further you might have to be sneaky yourself okay um for some of you the swords is all about our thoughts okay so for some of you you're having a lot of anxiety about a situation or a, or a person or a relationship and you might be overthinking things you might be um, a little paranoid you might not be trusting the situation because you've been lied to in the past okay so if that's the case um, please you know use your good judgment and um try not to think the worst of the situation um our thoughts are very powerful so if, if you're having a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress and a lot of worry um oftentimes we can manifest that in our in our lives so do be careful with your thoughts okay so there you have your reading um, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If this resonated with you, please leave me a comment. I love to read all of your comments and hear about your own personal situations. And if you would like a personal reading, you can contact me for that. I'll leave all of my information down below. And I hope you have a great rest of the week.